Now, last week, I guess it was last weekend, something jogged my memory, and I was thinking about the 220 EMA breakout system, and I started poking around with it again, something I haven't used in many years. But the concepts can come from it. For instance, the Landry light pullbacks come from that. The Landry light to keep you on the right side of the market comes from that and, and quite a few other things. But I kind of hadn't really spent a lot of time working with the actual system in more recent years. And I noticed that in crypto, a lot of moves were coming out of this system. And my question is, could it be this easy? And the answer is yes, and then, and no, there's a lot of caveats. But before we get to the caveats, here's a system right here. You used to have to pay $1.49 or $2.49 to think for it, but if you go to just Google 220-day EMA breakout system, and you'll you'll find this. This is a sidebar from Traders Magazine. My whole career was launched, by the way, from, uh, this is actually uh, Stocks and Commodities, Technical Analysis of Stocks and Commodities Magazine, TASC, T-A-S-C. My whole career was pretty much launched by this article in 96, and that uh, I ended up in a hedge fund or two, and then I ended up by accident in retail on trading markets, it was trade hard back then, and the whole thing kind of launched from this one little silly article with this stupid little system. Silly, stupid system, right? But anyway, that's the whole system right there. I'll walk you through it. Step one, you want two bars of Landry light, meaning the lows are greater than the moving average. Now, the original system used a 20-day exponential moving average. And by the way, the designer's intent was to show that a simple system could work, a simple trend-following system could work, that is. And that's back in the day when I did a lot, a lot, a lot of mechanical testing and mechanical programming, and I later became a discretionary trader. But all that stuff didn't go by the wayside. I learned a lot in the process. I learned it wasn't all the grail. I also learned that simple stuff could actually work with a few caveats. Now, step two is you're going to enter above the two bar high. Okay, so those couple days of Landry light above the 30 EMA. And again, I used to use the 20 EMA. I like the 30 EMA in more recent years. I know you probably want part of me. And step three, stop out at the 30 EMA. Now, a couple of possible improvements, and I'd forgotten that I did have a tiny bit of a wiggle room entry. If you look at that prior slide, you'll notice that I said enter 10 ticks above the two bar high, and that was for Forex, Japanese yen. So this is your two bar high, maybe give it a little wiggle room so you don't get triggered in on noise alone. And that does help a little bit. And again, I'd forgotten that I already put wiggle room in it until after I put the slide together, but maybe a slightly bit more amount of wiggle room and then maybe exit on a close below or maybe one day a Landry light. If you're a, if you capture a long, long, long trend, then go ahead and maybe be a little bit more lenient. Now here's the deal. I wouldn't use this without money management anyway. So I would be taking partial profits along the way and I would be opening up that stop. And maybe my initial stop will be a 30 EMA. And then I would use some of the little money management techniques. I talk about the little games I play, such as keep the change and gaining ground, go into the money management module for a lot more on that to ride out the longer term trends. And my stop would eventually probably get right around or well below maybe the 30 EMA, it depends on the, the trends of the market. Anyway, one thing I did want to show you, when a market is choppy, a trend following system does not work. Write that down. Now, maybe with a little wiggle room entry, you might have avoided a losing trade there, but you can see that would have been a sell short. You would have gotten long in here, and then this would have been a sell short. And again, maybe a little wiggle room might have helped you a little bit, but then eventually the trend did ensue. And notice coming into this, your entry would have been back here. And this was a pretty damn good trend coming in too. As I was putting together this presentation, this is the advantage of teaching a methodology and teaching my thoughts and is that you, you learn a lot in the process. And one thing I was thinking is like, well, not that I would recommend a trading system just based on this, but if you're looking at a market 
and you see three failed or four or however many failed three what would it be two let's see 220 work 220 sounds better doesn't it but 230 230 ema breakouts like three in a row like this that just chopped you out chewed you up maybe you're due for a trend to ensue it's, now it's not like Today, what if you flip a coin you know, 20 times, it comes up heads 20 times, and then would you still bet 50%? Yeah, I would, because that's the known odds, provided it's a fair coin, of course. But we don't know the odds in a market. In a market that hasn't been trending for a while is due to trend. Unfortunately, markets, a market that has been trending for a while, the trend may be due to end, but as trend falling morons, we just follow along and let the stops take us out. But anyway, after a few whipsaws, it's due to trend again. Now, I'm going to get into this in just one second, but while it's in my head, a trend following somewhat of a breakout system like this is going to work a hell of a lot better in an inefficient market than it will work in an efficient market. Now, Bitcoin's probably the most efficient of the cryptocurrencies, but every now and then, Bitcoin can really, really, really trend. So the buy was here, and I know everybody here knows this, but to those watching, I had this indicator in Metastock. It's also in the ACP platform. It's free on both those platforms, by the way. If you have ACP, which is stock charts, all you have to do is like this video and then click on this little plug-in right here and you'll get it for 100% free. Anyway, there was a buy, let's see, one, two, yeah, on this day here. So after two green bars, you're ready to look for an entry. And the exit was right there. So that was better than a poke in the eye. Now, by the way, I'm just kind of noticing this as I'm, I knew that wasn't a trigger down here, but your sell signal would have been below this low and notice that it never triggered. And one thing that's kind of cool about this little setup thing is it does keep you out of a lot of chop and that I'm just noticing this here. Technically, I guess you would have gotten a sell signal here, but I might have used a little discretion if I was following this. And this is why I don't believe in a pure mechanical system. I'm just seeing this live. But see, you've got one, two days of bars of daylight to squint your eyes. And down here, you got two. This just counts the number of days, not the magnitude again. But see, I would see, I would maybe give it some wiggle room to where that wouldn't have triggered. But one thing that's pretty amazing, and maybe I could find a better period of time, is like sometimes it'll just chop back and forth around that 30 EMA and not give you any signals. And I guess this is a good example back here because you've got your you got your buy, you got your sell signal here, and it never triggered it, and the market went back to the 30 EMA, so no capital is put in harm's way. Now, I'm not suggesting that you rush out and trade this in Bitcoin or S&P futures or spiders or anything else at this point in time, but I am making the case that when a market trends, a simple little system like this can do exceptionally well. Now, by the way, on the short side over here, bar one, bar two, the short would have been right there. And you can see it imploded quite a bit before it retraced back to the moving average. And then I guess you had another signal back here. This one didn't do quite as well. Maybe with a little money management, you could have squeezed a little bit out. But anyway, getting to the point I was trying to make is everything works better with trend. It's a blue bonnet of markets. I don't know if some of you people old enough to, to remember blue bonnet. They still make that. Isn't, that, isn't blue bonnet like one of those, uh, blue bonnet, blue bonnet, like one of those plastic, isn't, uh, uh, what do you call it stuff, margarine? Isn't that plastic? Anyway, I digress. Just like everything's better with blue bonnet on it, everything works better with trend. So this silly little system works really good when a market is trending. Now, you'll find that it works really good in more inefficient markets. Now, Ethereum's pretty efficient, but let's just take a look at the last signal here. Step one, two bars of Landry light. So that's one, lows below the 30 EMA, that's two. Step two, enter above the two bar high. So your trigger obviously would have been on this day here, and it didn't do a whole lot, but it didn't do anything wrong. And step three, start with a stop at the 30 day EMA, and then maybe take some partial profits along the way and put that money management stuff into place, that hybrid money management. Now, again, the point I was kind of anxious to get to is a simple little system like this is gonna work really, really well in an inefficient market. It's also going to work really well in an efficient market that is poised to make an inefficient move. What do I mean by that? Well, take a look at some big, thick stock that's coming off of all-time highs and forms a bow tie down, or in this case, I guess a three or two 
30 EMA. I need to get used to saying that. Maybe come up with a new name for it. It's hard to change a name after 20 something years, 25 years. Huh? Good Lord, I'm getting old. But it can work really well in an inefficient market. I'm sorry, an efficient market that's poised to make an efficient move. So you've got some big cap stock price for perfection. The overall stock market is going to roll over. Everybody and their brother owns a stock. Every institution in the world owns this stock. Every analyst in the, in the world has been touting this stock. And all of a sudden, it begins to implode a little bit. And that's, a, that's when you get an inefficient move on an efficient stock. And then maybe we'll talk about a few of those. Hopefully not, though. But if this market rolls back over, we might have to talk about a few of those. ZIM comes to mind because I have puts on that one. So we'll see. And maybe I'll pull it up in a minute. It was on last night's Landry list. So let's take a look at some of these inefficient shit coins. Now I am long this one. I didn't get long on this this 230 system. I got long because it was going up, like I've been talking about quite a bit, and I was just playing a relative strength game. Relative strength not to itself, but relative strength relative to other of uh, these cryptocurrencies. And this one's worked out pretty nicely as for. So there's your buy two-day buy signal right there and so forth ran out pretty good in a case like this obviously you would have certainly want to have taken some profits by now it pretty much doubled so make sure you take it some profits along the way ftm here's another one way back here believe it or not and it never did come back and tag that 30 ema as you can see and this is the cool thing about this little indicator i know again you want to party with me but it, it gives you a visual representation of the trend beginning to develop. Okay, we're making a transition from downtrend to uptrend here. Get ready, get ready. Kind of like the bow tie, proper order that I preach about so much. Now we have two days. Might be time to start looking at this market. So the entry was way back here. I don't think I got in that quickly. I think I may have gotten in like one of these big bar days when it began to take off. Now, here was another entry, and this is one trade that I did take around here, not because I had this particular system, but because it was doing well on a relative strength basis. Now, as I'm going to spoil alert, we'll get to in one second. After a while, all trend following systems tend to look alike, or possibly when a market is really trending, you know, pick your favorite trend following system and knock yourself out. And they're all going to pretty much look alike. They're all going to be choppy at times. They're all going to have horrible drawdowns. And that's why you have to beat the system, so to speak, by using proper money management or what I view as proper money management. Don't risk a lot. Know that you can be wrong a lot. Take some partial profits and let that stop widen out over time to make that transition to a longer term trade. Now, here's another one. OMG. There was a signal there. Way back here, you did have you did have a, a buy signal plus two, but you see it didn't trigger. And then your next buy would have been over here. So what happened was this was a reset because it came back to 30 EMA, okay? And then we have one, two right here, and your buy would have been above that high. And then it tagged the moving average here. And like I said earlier, maybe wait for a close below the moving average. The reason I want to show you the signal way back here is of course hindsight is 2020 but if you'd have been trading the system so to speak or something similar to this maybe rs or whatever and give it a little bit of wiggle room and maybe take some profits along the way i mean geez it went from five to ten doubled right and then try to ride it out to at least that 30 ema maybe a close below you might be able to stick with the trend for a long long time now we did have a subsequent signal here and it's kind of stealthy. So it's like one, two, and then enter above this two bar high. So day one, day two, entry above this high, but then it touched the moving average. Okay, so your entry was way up here. This is kind of a cool signal. I know, I know you want to party with me. <laughs> this is kind of awesome. I forgot about this. So this one actually came back down. And then day one, day two, this creates a new signal here, which is actually lower than this signal. Okay, and then it takes off. And I am long this one too. Sheeb, I'm long Sheeb, Sheeba and new. This is all a rage on the internet now. I have shares in the millions and millions and millions of this. I guess a lot of people are doing that so they could say they're a shitcoin billionaire. 
don't be that impressed. I mean, it's it's a fraction of a penny. If it goes to one penny, you might not see my fat ass again. I actually took profits on this one and actually got back in, but I, I like it so far at least. But you can see you've got two bars of land you like. So your inner your entry would have been, let's see what that was. Oh, right here. Okay, you've got two. Notice your little land you light above. Okay, no trigger. And uh, stock charts doesn't have this one yet. I'll complain to them because this one overnight went from like way down into the into the like really really a shit coin all the way up to like number top ten. I saw stuff on the internet and, and all these things. I know, I know, I know. But a thousand dollars, I think like a year ago on this one, be worth two hundred nineteen million a day. But anyway, day one, day two, entries here. There's your buy, and so far so good on that one.